now this is uh, the tutorial part of the module 1 that is on the introduction to gear and gear unit design and this is lecture 5 and tutorial in nature. Uh, we have considered few problems and solutions on fundamentals of involute tooth gearing here of 40 teeth. The pinion runs at 30 revolution per second and transmits a power of 20 kilowatt. The teeth are on the 20 degree full depth system and have a module of 5 millimeter. The length of the line of action is uh, 19 millimeter. Now, on this question there are 3 4 um, sub questions. So, this has to answer. The first one which is not exactly from the gate uh, one, but it is very relevant to the gear system. Uh, this is to calculate the input torque. Now, the input torque in Newton meter is here. Uh, this is very important that you should look into the dimensions what is given and when you are entering the data you need not enter this uh, unit and perhaps it is not also possible. So, you have to enter only the numerical value. Now, next this uh, answer options are uh, A is 212.2 and B is 106.1, C 10.61 and D 1061 all these should be Newton meter. Now, the equation what we can consider that the torque transmitted by the pinion will be equal to T i which is input then it is equal to power that we have to express in watt divided by revolution per second or the angular speed which must be in radian per second. Now, here it is given that revolution is 30 revolution per second that speed is 30 revolution per second. So, simply if we multiply it with 2 pi that will give the angular speed radian per second and substituting the values if we calculate we will get the answer as 106.1 this is in Newton meter. So, here we have to put the tick on B. Next question is out of that what will be the contact ratio. Now, first of all we should know what is the contact ratio contact ratio is length of contact along the line of action. It is not A I wrong along the line of action and divided by the base speech, base speech of the gear. So, which is equal to pi into module into cos of standard pressure angle. Now, here the length of contact is is usually calculated, but in this case length of contact is given 19 millimeter it is along the line of action. So, we can directly put that into numerator and then we can calculate that what is the base speech and we can find out this one and the answer will be 1.29. So, in numerator we will put 19 and here will pi into module is given it is 5 module. So, this is 5 cos into 20 okay. that will give us a value 1.29 even if in calculation if it is close to that say if it is 287 or 293 something like that you should select this one okay, not this two. 
so calculation to be done very carefully now on from on the same problem we have to find out the center distance for above gear set that is also uh, look at this here this you should one should be very careful because only you have to click and where the range is given there you have to put uh, the range value so usually the dimension is kept outside in this case sorry so it, it is given here in millimeter so we should calculate in millimeter and that value we should select from here okay now this is options are given 140 150 160 and 170 now how to find out the center distance the center distance is equal to number of teeth in pinion plus number of tooth in gear total multiplied by the module and divided by 2 this means that a the center distance is equal to here the teeth number of pinion is 20 teeth, num teeth number of gears is 40 and whole multiplied by module 5 divided by 2. So, this becomes 300 divided by 2. So, directly we get 150. Okay. Now, let So, answer is B 150. So, on B you have to click. Now, next problem is it is different one tooth of a gear having 4 module and 32 teeth is shown in this figure this is the figure so teeth is shown and this dimension is measured this is caudal dimension you have to remember this is not the arc okay so it is asked that we have to calculate these dimensions and also these dimensions. Now, to calculate this width, we can use this formula. This is the radius, and this angle, if we consider half angle from if you join this point with the centers that means we will join this point with the center here and we will consider this point with the center so this angle this angle will be how much this will be 360 first of all we will divide by 360 into uh, divided by twice z that will give this distance this angle okay and again further if you divide by 2 we will get this angle so what we have done we have taken the sine component of this radius which is pitch circle radius with this angle and that comes to close to a value that you can calculate yourself you will find a value say it will match with some one of this or at least it will be close to this one of this and next if we consider this b we know from this point from this tip point to top that is the one module but we have to add also this portion that is nothing but but this radius minus 
the cost component of this radius with the same angle. So, we have also calculated that one and finally, we get the result it is greater than 4.1. You see uh, in, in this in these combinations more tricky way it could be put one option is that 6.28 and 4 and most of the students or who is writing <laughs> will make a mistake after calculating the first one oh this is the addendum we will go into this 6.25 say one option could be like this 6.25.4 sorry not 25 to 8. So, this calculation as it is close to 6.28 and then this is the addendum height one will be tempted to put one for this option to select this option but this is wrong because we have to consider this distance along with the addendum this is the addendum this we should keep in mind okay so correct answer is 6.28 that is option d millimeter and 4.1 millimeter now, this is another question match the type of gears with their most appropriate descriptions. So, in one column it has been given that P is equal to helical gear, Q is equal to spiral bevel, R is equal to hypoid gear and S is rack and pinion. Now, in the description it is written the axis non parallel and non intersections ok. And for spiral bevel no sorry uh, uh, another description is given axis parallel and teeth are inclined to the axis. Third is axis are parallel and teeth are parallel to this axis. Number four is axis are perpendicular and intersecting and teeth are inclined to the axis. Axis are fifth one is that axis are perpendicular and used for large speed reaction and another is axis parallel and one of the gears has infinite radius. Now, let us consider first helical gear. Now, helical gear now try to match with the description helical gear axis non parallel and non intersections axis are in helical that non parallel means it might be um, uh, it the plane are parallel. So, in that way first one will not be there they will be always in the parallel plane. So, axis parallel and teeth inclined to axis that means we can write here that so probably this with 2 we will also can check the other one axis parallel and teeth are parallel to the axis no axis are perpendicular and intersecting and teeth are inclined to the axis no axis are perpendicular and used for large speed reactions this is also no for helical gear axis parallel one of the gears has infinite radius that is also no. So, P is matching with 2. So, now we will find that P 2 are there. So, in that way by no means D will not be. So, it will be among A, C and B. Now, we shall consider the spiral bevel. In case of spiral bevel, it is not hypoid, it is spiral bevel. Spiral bevel means the axis will intersect. Axis non parallel and 
non intersecting snow axis parallel and teeth are inclined it is this two is with helical only axis are parallel and teeth are parallel to the axis axis are perpendicular and intersecting and teeth are inclined to the axis this is you can see this inclined means it is spiral as you know this is inclined so spiral wheel is matching with four okay axis and perpendicular and used for large speed directions axis are parallel and one of the gears has inclined radius that is also not matching so q4 now what we find q4 is here q4 as well as it is in a it is in b but it is not in c so c is also cannot be answered okay now next we will come to the hypoid gear in case of hypoid the axis non parallel and non intersecting probably it might be that one axis non parallel and not intersecting and next the third is that axis are parallel and teeth are parallel to axis no this cannot be at all so now axis are perpendicular used for large uh, speed reductions this may be large but um, this is not that appropriate axis is parallel and of gears of infinite radius this is also not matching so this hypoid will match with one so this means that this is coming over here and this is r1 it is not there so b is can only it is there but we will check the last one also rack and pinion for rack and pinion the axis the if we come to the third point axis are parallel and teeth are parallel to axis no it is not that axis are perpendicular and used for large speed reactions no this is not true axis parallel and one of the gears has infinite radius rack is having infinite radius so this is matching 6 so this s is matching with 6 that means we have up to analyzing this we have this, this could be the answer and we have also matched this is the answer so this will be the answer now let us see so answer is a okay so in that way you have to answer these questions now next one is that an epicyclic gear train is shown schematically in the adjacent figure the sun gear 2 on the input shaft is 20 teeth external gear the planet gear 3 is a 40 teeth external gear and the ring is 5 is having 100 teeth internal gear the ring gear 5 is fixed and the gear 2 is rotated at 60 rpm clockwise this is uh, sorry ccw means counter clockwise and cw means clockwise so it is ro being rotated in counter clockwise direction so if we consider that means the sun gear is rotated in this clockwise direction okay so what the arm four attached to the output shaft will rotate at this we have to calculate the rpm but first of all looking into the directions if it is rotating like this then this is rotating like this okay so this teeth is being touched here this means that this point will move in this direction that is as this gear is fixed so from this means sun and this arm will have same direction of rotation and in this case we can find that this is this won't be because it is clockwise this won't be now we have to calculate the rpm this is as we know that let us consider this is z s and 
this is Z P and this is acting as idle and this is Z R. So, transmission ratio is I T is equal to Z R by Z S plus 1. This means that it comes to 100 divided by 20 5 plus 1. So, that is, is equal to 6 and our input rpm is 60. So, this must be 10. So, rpm of arm must be is equal to 60 divided by 6 is equal to 10. So, the answer will would be this one 10 rpm counterclockwise this is 12. So, this is no right. And let us see the answer answer is A right. Now, we have considered another gear train a compound gear train with gears P Q P Q R S has number of teeth 20, 40, 15, 20 respectively. So, that means, this is P is having 40, 20, this is uh, having 40 and this is having 15 and this is having 20. Hmm. Q and R, Q and R mounted on the same shaft as shown in the figure below. Okay. The diameter of the gear Q is twice that of the gear R. Okay. Let us see the teeth number. Oh, this is 15, whereas this is 14, but it is in the twice the size. So, module the if the module of the gear R is 2 millimeter, the center distance in millimeter between gear P and S between P and S is 40, 120, 80, 160. Now, this is a little a tricky because the R is having So, this we can do in that way this if the module of gear R is 2 millimeter that means, dia R will be must be equal to teeth number of R is, is uh, 15 and module is 2 that is equal to 30. And what also given that the Q is twice of the R, that means dia Q is equal to 60 millimeter. Now, it is having 40 teeth, so module. of Q must be equal to 60 divided by 40 that is 1.5 millimeter right. So, this means that if we would like to find out the center distance this means that center distance will be first matching 20 plus 40 into 1.5 divided by 2 and plus we will have 15 plus s is equal to 20 20 that into 2 divided by 2. So, this becomes if you write it. So, this is 60 to 30 into 1.5. So, that becomes 45 and this part becomes cancel to cancels 15 plus 20 this is 35. So, this becomes totally 80 millimeter and our answer 
would be B. Okay. So, answer would be B. Let us check that what is there. So, answer is B. Okay. And you here also you should notice that this millimeter here it is mentioned that in millimeter. So, you have to calculate in millimeter right. Now, next question is that which one of the following is used to convert a rotational motion into a translation motion? Bevel gear? No, it is not. Is it the answer is bevel? No. Double helical gear? This is also no. Worm gear? This is also no. No translation motion. So, translation motion is only available with the rack and pinion. Okay. So, answer is D rack and pinion. Now, next another question is that gear 2 rotates at 1200 rpm in counter clockwise direction. So, gear 2 this is the gear 2 this gear 2 rotates in counter clockwise directions which is having 20 teeth and engages with gear 3. So, this means that gear 3 will rotate in this directions as well as gear 4 also rotate in this directions. Gear 3 and gear 4 are mounted on the same shaft. Gear 5 engages with gear 4 the number of teeth on gears 2, 3, 4 and 5 are 20, 40, 50, 13 which is given and this gear is rotating anti clockwise directions. So, therefore, the angular speed in rpm of gear 5 we have to find out the gear 5 and this gear 5 what we find this is in anti clockwise directions. So, these two is automatically cancel out. Okay. Now, among A and C this answer will be there. Now, it is written this is in 1200 rpm 2 is rotating 1200 rpm. So, what we will find the 3 will rotate into 3 will rotate 20 by 40. So, this will be half of that and then the gear 5 will rotate this further into sorry uh, 15 15 divided by 30 ok. So, gradually this is clearly the reduction gear unit. So, we can find out 1200 divided by 2 into 2 that is 300 ok. So, answer would be A this is also not true this is for from the direction point of view and this is from the the ratio point of view I mean speed point of view. So, let us see this what is the answer answer is A 300 counter clockwise. Now, next another question a pair of such gears with 5 module 5 millimeter module and a center distance of 450 millimeter is used for a speed reduction of 5 is to 1 the number of teeth on pinion is then hyphen is there and actually this this range will not be given 
I mean uh, one cannot see this range, this range will be height, but if you put answer anything between that 29 to 31 within this range it will be corrected. So, even if one can put the teeth number is 30.5 that will be corrected, but <laughs> actually actual answer should be an integer. How? That the pair of gears, so let us consider this pair of gears is z1 plus z2 okay? and this module is 5 given and the center distance is 450 millimeter means this is equal to 450 and another ratio is given. Let us consider the z1 is the pinion and z2 is the gear. So, z2 divided by z1 is equal to 5 it is given. This means that z2 is equal to z1 into 5. So, if we substitute this here then we will have 6 z1 must be equal to 450 divided by 5. So, this is 90. This means that z1 must be equal to 90 divided by 6. How much? 15. Sorry, I have made a mistake. So, this is uh, Four two into four fifty. Sorry, sorry. This is center distance and a center distance four fifty millimeter is used for a speed reduction. This will be two into four four fifty. So this will be sorry. This will be two. Okay. This is not four fifty. If we correct, if we make it calculate correctly z1 plus z2 to 5 divided by 2 is equal to 450 in millimeter. So, this means that z1 plus z2 is equal to 450 into 2 divided by 5 which comes to 180 is not it. And z1 uh, z2 by z1 is equal to 5. So, 6 z1 is equal to 180. So, z1 is equal to 30. So, one will answer 30 and he will get the correct marks. But even if for this type of question if you put 30.5 <laughs> you will score the full marks. answer is 30. Answer is 30. Next another question on uh, in the gear train shown gear 3 is carried on arm 5. This is the arm 5. this is arm. Gear 3 meshes with gear 2 okay, and gear 4. So, this is the ring gear. The number of teeth on gear 2, 3, 4 is this is 60 and um, this is 20 and this is 60 ok. No, 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 no 60, 20 and 100 this is 100 60, 20, 100 ok right. Now, in gear if gear 2 is fixed right and gear 4 rotates with 
and angular velocity of 100 rpm in the counter clockwise direction. So, this gear is rotating in counter clockwise direction. The angular speed of arm 5 is then 6 166.7 counter clockwise 62.5 clockwise and uh, uh, such and such values 4 options are here. Now, first of all we will analyze the what will be the directions of rotation. Here the gear 1 is fixed. Now, if this gear rotates in this directions, this also will try to rotate in this direction. Hmm. And if it rotates in this directions counterclockwise, so this gear will try to rotate also in in clockwise direction, but this is stopped. Now, this means that if it is rotating like that, arm is rotating in this directions. Okay. So, the angular speed of arm, so arm is rotating in the counter clockwise, so either answer will be this or this, but definitely not this one, not this one. Now, this ratio we can find out in this way, so this will become 100 60. So, this is 1.67, 1.67 plus 2. So, this would be the answer. Okay. Let us see. So, this is the answer. Answer is this one already we have found out. Okay. Now, for this uh, um, uh, one can follow any theory of machines books, because there is no um, truth uh, strength calculation is here. So, probably the theory of machines book will do as well as in machine design books in fundamentals where the kinematics are di discussed that book also would do. And uh, these questions are um, chosen from uh, this, this websites, so one can look into these websites also. So, thank you.